Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Thursday, the 27th of June. I'm James Spann. It's summertime. You know what that means. We'll deal with these random scattered storms again this afternoon and this evening, and that's going to be the situation for a while. There's the upper look. It looks like late June, the primary westerly winds aloft. The jet stream, if you will, well to the north. Got a flat ridge down here. We're in the 70s at daybreak. Highs today will be around 90, maybe low 90s in spots, much like yesterday. There's the watch warning map this morning. At daybreak, we have a severe thunderstorm watch in effect for parts of the Dakotas in Minnesota. Things pretty quiet down here, but... We'll see more storms firing later. We have an enhanced risk of severe storms over parts of Montana today. Keep in mind, this is their tornado season. And down here, we have a marginal risk of severe storms for areas north of a line from near Linden to Calera and Scottsboro. The area is in darker green, and that's where the storms could be fairly strong, maybe with gusty winds and small hail. Somewhat similar to yesterday, but really anywhere in the state. We'll have the chance of a few scattered storms this afternoon and this evening. They will be random and scattered. And again, at this hour of the day this morning, we can't tell you exactly when and where they fired this afternoon, but they'll be out there. You have to watch radar trends. Tomorrow, a couple of risks up north. And Saturday, again, a standard risk over parts of Minnesota, North Dakota. Also a marginal risk for places like Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, New York City and Boston. Here's the rain for the next seven days. And again, this is not showing a lot. And I don't like showing these maps, and I probably won't for a while because you just can't do it in summer. We had some spots yesterday that had nearly two inches of rain. Uh, of course, other spots had nothing. But every day we'll have scattered storms about. So if you need rain, you'll have a chance every day. But it's almost a matter of luck in this pattern. Tropics in the Atlantic Basin, once again, quiet as could be. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS. This is the 060 run at 4 o'clock this afternoon. Got the jet stream well to the north, upper high over west Texas. And again, partly sunny. A few scattered storms this afternoon and this evening. This is the NAM at 5 o'clock. And uh, these mesoscale models are marvelous uh, during the cold season, but in summer, they just don't handle the air mass convection that well that often. Uh, this is suggesting, again, a kind of a concentrated batch of storms over northwest Alabama in that marginal risk area. And it might work out that way. We'll see. But just keep an eye on radar trends. No change through the weekend. This is tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday. Each day, a mixture of clouds and sunshine with scattered showers and storms. They're probably going to be a little more numerous over the weekend. See the odds of any one spot getting wet tomorrow, about one in three, and then maybe 50-50 by the time the weekend gets here. But still, the sun out at times, highs for the weekend around 90. And that's our theme for next week. This is Monday and Tuesday, partly sunny with a few pop-up storms. Wednesday, same thing. And here's a week from today, the 4th of July, Independence Day. Little trough axis to the west and Again, we'll see scattered storms about. Highs next week, most days should be at or just over 90. Let's go out 10 days. This is Saturday the 6th of July. Got an upper high developing over Oklahoma and Kansas. Yet 594 ring out there, but for us, it's the same story. A mix of sun and clouds with scattered showers and storms. There's the rain for the next 15 days. The ensemble mean, the green line, is about 2 inches for Birmingham. And highs, mostly low 90s. Lows, mostly around 70. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. I'll be out uh, doing uh, an assignment with the station later today, so one video today, but I will be back on ABC 3340 News tonight at 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Some things in life are just made to go together. Peanut butter and jelly, rock and roll, the sun and the moon. These things got Blake Sanders, the owner of KS Services, thinking. What can we pair with our superior heating and air service to make our customers even happier? Plumbing Experts by KS Services was born. So the next time you have a clogged line, leaky faucet, or water running all through the house, know there's a reputable company out there on call just to click away. Call KS.com, your trusted source for heating and cooling and now plumbing.